What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media. Trust the bank, giving you daily Ravens content, obviously, every single day. So hit the subscribe button down below if you want to get notified uh, when we upload new videos on different Ravens content. Today, I'm going to be talking about something I've seen a little bit on Twitter between debating about, and it has to do with what the Ravens should do with safety. Um, I've seen some reports about the Ravens being interested in a guy like Malik Hooker. Uh, but obviously that comes with maybe the Ravens have concerns with who they have at safety um, and their safeties are obviously Deshaun Elliott, the Joker and uh, Chuck Clark. So looking at, you know, what they all kind of bring to the table, Chuck Clark and Deshaun Elliott are pretty darn similar. Uh, they're both guys that can hit hard. They can play in the box. They can stop the run. Um, the issue is Chuck Clark is not very good in coverage. However, Chuck Clark does possess the ability to call the defense, which is another added benefit. Um, kind of looking at their stats, Chuck Clark came into the league in 2017. Um, he has played in every single game except for one in his career. Um, last year, started all 16 games. Um, he's had a pick in each of the last three seasons, which you love to see. He's had two forced fumbles in each of the last two seasons, which is majorly impactful on this Ravens defense. As we all know, um, we've got the fruit punch and the peanut punch, uh, you know, coming out of Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters started getting into it. Uh, what's it called? The juice punch or, or whatever they call the uh, Marcus Peters, you know, strip. But then obviously Chuck Clark, you know, two forced fumbles last year. And that's very comparable to Deshaun Elliott. Deshaun Elliott also had two forced fumbles. That's something the Ravens like to do. They're not amazing at getting interceptions, but they are very, very good at taking the ball away through through forcing fumbles, through hitting hard, through grabbing the ball and ripping it out. So can Malik Hooker do that? Um, no, he's never forced a fumble in the NFL. Um, that's, that's really difficult uh, to look at a guy and be like, all right, let's bring him into this system. When Deshaun Elliott, I think, has proven that he can play all over the field. Um, he can play free safety and make plays down the field, uh, but he can also come into the box and hit a guy like a Derrick Henry. Um, then looking at kind of Chuck Clark and what he can do, obviously, I've already brought it up, you know, he can stop the run. But, you know, calling the defense is big, but he can stay healthy. That's the biggest part. Um, Deshaun Elliott is not somebody that is notorious for staying healthy. Um, he played all in 16 games last year, which is great. Um, but other than that, really hasn't been healthy at all in his career as he was picked in the 2018 NFL draft. Um, whereas Malik Hooker, kind of a similar story. Malik Hooker was actually taken 15th overall in the 2017 NFL draft. And if anybody remembers correctly, Ravens had pick number 16. They drafted Marlon Humphrey. I would say that's a pretty darn good pick. But maybe the Ravens were looking into a guy like a Malik Hooker. Malik Hooker is a is a ball hawk. I, I would compare him, you know, I compare him lightly to Ed Reed, um, just in the sense that he does have the ability to read the quarterback and make those plays down the field. Um, the issue is, I think, with bringing in a guy like Malik Hooker, like I already, I think I said earlier in the video, the Ravens have shown interest in him, so that's why I'm talking about him. Um, the Ravens already have somebody that loves to bite, loves to make big plays. That's Marcus Peters. If you have too many of those types of guys on your defense, then it could really hurt you because we've seen Marcus Peters gives up big plays. If you have two players that have potential for giving up big plays, it can be horrendous. Like imagine Marcus Peters is on the same side as Malik Hooker and they both bite on something. I mean, that's a touchdown. Like that's the issue I see with bringing in a guy like Malik Hooker when you have somebody in your cornerback two slot or cornerback one, wherever you want to, you know, say Marcus Peters is, that likes to take risks. Adding that extra guy that loves to take risks is not something that is super viable, especially when they don't do something that your team loves to do, which is strip the ball, uh, force turnovers, and do that kind of thing. Um, in terms of the health, yeah, it's an issue, but it's also an issue with like Deshaun Elliott. So saying that, you know, you don't want Malik Hooker because he has an injury problem, but then saying like, oh, I'm totally okay with Deshaun Elliott. That's, you know, you can't really say that. Uh, it's a bit hypocritical, but I will say Deshaun Elliott is on a much better contract. <laughs> the Ravens are paying him on his rookie deal. So if he does get hurt, you know, the Ravens can just draft somebody to play backup. They drafted Geno Stone last year um, who didn't end up staying on the roster, but, you know, they drafted him as somebody who could come in if Deshaun Elliott were to get injured or Chuck Clark. Um, I think that's what they'll do again this year. I think they'll just look to the draft late day two, 
early day three type of pick uh, to play back. Do they, they probably do end up drafting more of a coverage safety, but he's not going to get a ton of playing time because the Ravens have two very good safeties. And because they play such a positionless defense, um, whether or not they're a free or strong safety is, is kind of besides the point because everybody plays everywhere for Wink Martindale. Uh, Matthew Judon can play outside coverage every once in a while. You know, can is a strong turn. He gets put into outside coverage every once in a while. Uh, Deshaun Elliott and Chuck Clark have both also shown that they can rush the quarterback. Elliott actually had two and a half sacks last year. Um, is that something Malik Hooker is going to bring you? Uh, yeah, probably not. You know, if you, we brought in Malik Hooker, it could be kind of similar to, you know, the the Earl Thomas um, signing. And that, that was great. Like, yeah, sure, he brought like a nice presence and he was able to, you know, make some plays. He's got a good mind. But he didn't fit. Um, he didn't fit with what the Ravens were trying to do. He didn't play the right style. I mean, he just wasn't somebody that could really rush the quarterback. He tried, wasn't very good at it, um, didn't really fit in. That I kind of see is what would happen with Malik Hooker. And obviously Malik Hooker isn't as good as like a prime Earl Thomas. But, you know, the kind of play style is, is relatively similar. So that's why I'm kind of worried about the Ravens saying that they're, you know, looking into Malik Hooker and reports coming out that they've shown heavy interest. That 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 worries me because while I like Malik Hooker, I think he's a very good player. I just don't think that he's a very good fit in this Ravens organization and on this Ravens team with what the Ravens have right now because I don't see Malik Hooker coming in and, you know, knocking down a Derrick Henry. You know, we play in the AFC North. The running backs that he has to tackle – Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, Joe Mixon, um, and then, you know, James Conner, you know, kind of whatever. But also, you know, you look at like a Chase Claypool. Um, Juju's probably not coming back to the AFC North, but if you were to, um, those guys are difficult to bring down. If you are not a tackler and or a heavy hitter, it's going to be very difficult to bring those guys down. And, you know, we all remember what Earl Thomas did against Nick Chubb, you know, as he gave up and Nick Chubb took it to the house. That's that's something that kind of worries me once again. You know, just something where it's like, yeah, he's played in a good division. He has played against Derrick Henry. I mean, sort of, when he's been healthy. So that's just the worry that I have is that I don't think that he really fits in with what the Ravens are trying to do. So in my personal opinion on what the Ravens should do at the safety, stick with their guys, stick with Deshaun, stick with Chuck, and draft somebody, uh, maybe a fourth round, fifth round pick uh, type of free safety type that, you know, can be a ball hawk um, a little bit earlier than when they picked Geno Stone, which was in like the seventh round. So that's kind of my thoughts and opinions. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think the Ravens should do, you know, at the safety position. Uh, should they trade for a guy? Should they sign a guy? Should they um, draft somebody? Let me know. But thanks everybody for watching. See y'all tomorrow.